Hello everybody and welcome. Happy Friday. Not that Fridays are much different than any other days these days because of quarantine. Weekends and weekdays just kind of blend in together, but nevertheless, happy Friday. Um, today I want to discuss with you the topic of um, gut health in general. This topic is very near and dear to me because I myself have had to cope and deal with a lot of health issues um, and I have just been forced to really dive deep into the science and the functionality of your entire GI tract in order to heal myself. Therefore, I'm a good resource. But um, in order to understand how to heal your gut, I think it's important to understand just a little bit about how your gut works. Well, your gut is inhabited by millions of microbes. Good bacteria, bad bacteria. Um, in the words of Dr. Gundry, good bacteria are your gut buddies. And your body acts like their condominium. Basically, if you provide them a good home, keep them well fed with good things, um, make them feel good, then they're going to treat you well as well and take care of you. I'm going to give you five tips for a healthy gut. Tip number one, you want to avoid eating an excess of lectin-laden foods. What are lectins? Lectins are plant proteins that can pry open your gut wall, enter your body and travel throughout your body, end up in places like your brain, your joints, things like that, cause arthritis, etc., etc. a lot of other diseases. They act like missile attacks on your gut wall and um, they just have the capability to create a lot of damage in your gut. Tip number two, avoid eating artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners like Splenda, Sweet and Low, etc. kill friendly gut bacteria. Um, not only that, but they taste sweet, of course. Your brain feeds off of sugar, real sugar. So when you're eating artificial sweeteners, your brain's like, mmm, good stuff coming my way, give me more. You're ingesting it, but your brain is not getting any because it's artificial. So then your brain signals to the rest of your body, hey, I can taste the sweetness, but I'm not getting any here. So please feed me more and more and more. And your body's gonna wanna crave and crave more sugar that ultimately leads to weight gain. Tip number three, Avoid antibiotics unless it is for a serious or life-threatening infection. Of course, you want to consult with your doctor before stopping your prescribed antibiotics, but just as a general tip to keep in the back of your mind, antibiotics tend to have a detrimental effect on your gut bacteria because they act like carpet bombs, many of them do and carpet bombs just uh, decimates all your good bacteria along with your bad. And in order to keep a proper balance of flora, you need the, both the good and the bad. Tip number four, avoid medications, pain relievers with NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen, Motrin, etc. NSAIDs completely destroy your gut lining. Uh, one of the most harmful um, and damaging medications you could take for your gut, especially if you have a sensitive gut like me. Um, what do they do? Promotes leaky gut. You probably uh, heard of leaky gut and um, leaky gut is basically creating openings into your gut wall, allowing harmful chemicals, things like that to enter your gut wall. And your gut wall is the fortress of the fort that prevents these harmful things from entering. So when you damage it, you create these openings Therefore, you're allowing those harmful things to enter. Tip number five, take your vitamin D3 supplements. If you've been following me for a while, you've heard me say many, many times, take vitamin D3. Why do I emphasize vitamin D3 so much? Vitamin D3 can stimulate your stem cells into healing and repairing your gut wall. And therefore, either you're taking 5,000 international units I use of um, vitamin D3 supplements daily, or you are spending about 15 to 20 minutes um, outside getting sunshine, which is not necessarily feasible for people who live in the Pacific Northwest, where there's only just a few months out of the year that there's actual real strong sunlight coming through um, the clouds. And therefore, most people in the Pacific Northwest do need to be supplementing with uh, vitamin D3. Bonus tip. 
You want to be taking prebiotics. Now, what's the difference between prebiotics and probiotics? Well, probiotics are the good bacteria. Prebiotics are like the fertilizers that help grow your gut buddies, the good gut bacteria.、Um, foods that have a lot of prebiotics are things like okra, sweet potatoes. Taro root, pistachios, walnuts, things like that. So make sure you are incorporating a lot of those foods in your diet. Thanks for staying with me throughout this video. I hope it was helpful to you.、Um, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, of course, for、um, weekly holistic living tips and advice.、Um, also, please. Feel free to comment below and let me know what are some of the holistic health topics that you want me to discuss in my future videos. I will make sure to read through them and、um, maybe create some videos based on、uh, the majority vote. So I hope we hear from you. Enjoy the rest of your week and take care. Bye bye.